And welcome back to the Florida Powerboat Club channel here on YouTube. This is Stu Jones in the Pompano Beach studio, and we have got more exciting fun with members of the Florida Powerboat Club as we continue the adventure with the Key West Poker Run, a 2019 edition. And we have set records in every way on this event from attendance to the number of episodes now. We are at episode 12 as we continue the coverage uh, with all of the highlights of this event as we now have arrived in Key West. And we're going to be going one or two more after this. So let's catch up with our members of the Florida Powerboat Club in Key West. And before we get started, of course, let's thank our sponsors. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event. So let me recap quickly uh, from our last episode. We had arrived in Key West. Now we've got all of the 269 Poker Run teams are in Key West. We went straight to the Key West Poker Run Village, uh, which is hosted by the Conk Republic Seafood Company, where we saw so much going on, starting with the sponsor dock and all of those incredible power boats, stereos on, all lit up, and of course, not just on the water, but the on-land displays were every bit as incredible and there was thousands of people going through the Poker Run Village. We spoke to a number of our sponsors and we wrapped up the evening with that very exciting and very popular Key West Body Painting Exhibition. What's up? And of course, no better way to start the day than the traditional Key West Rooster. And that's the way we're kicking things off here from the Poker Run Village on this beautiful Friday morning. And on today's agenda, we've got powerboat racing, uh, as we always do on Fridays. But for the very first time, something that we've always wanted to do, and now we've got the green light from Race World Offshore, and that is going to be our powerboat poker run parade, which is going to be staged on the Race World course on Key West Harbor in between race heats. So they're going to give us about a 30-minute window to do that, and it's important for us to have a captain's meeting. This is part of the protocol. Race World Offshore asked us to make sure that all of our captains were in sync with the plan because we had a very tight window and they didn't want to have any uh, crazy stuff going on. So we had this quick captain's meeting at the Conquer Republic Seafood Company to get everybody on the same page. All of the FPC members were invited to attend this parade. Uh, not everybody was able to join us because moving the boats around can get a little tricky from time to time. Uh, we have to have everybody down at the Conquer Republic Seafood Dock, uh, the sponsor dock, to fire up the boats and break up that uh, raft up. Uh, it changes every day, so this is all part of the normal routine. Uh, this worked out well today because we were able to break up uh, this raft up and uh, be a part of the parade. Some of our manufacturing sponsors were scheduled to do photo shoots out in the harbor or do some demo rides as we can see this cigarette pulling out off the dock. And remember that a lot of the manufacturers and dealers have brand new boats here, and this may be the very first opportunity for them to show these boats to prospective buyers. And if you talk to some of the repeating sponsors, you know, like Nortec, uh, Performance Boat Center, Outer Limits, and some of the others, uh, they've had a great amount of success by doing this every year, and they're, they're leaving this uh, Key West Poker Run with boat deals in hand in many cases. So we're just going to share with you now just a number of these video clips that we got as the boats were coming out of their slips at the Galleon or A&B Marina or here at the Conquer Republic Sponsor Dock. And of course on the far side there, that's the Key West Bite, the city marina where we have oh, probably 50 or 60 of our poker run boats. So everybody here, including this big Lunar, this Next Era Marketing sponsored uh, 102 foot Mayora motor yacht. This is the yacht that we did the poker card from. Uh, in Marathon and we featured a lot of this boat making its way down from Miami to Key West uh, on the last episode. And some of the boats we're seeing right now, well we haven't seen them for probably 10 episodes like George Takula here in his uh, Team Predator, 447 Predator. You know he, he came down on the Wednesday run, I think we got him in episode 1 or maybe 2 and you know 10 episodes later now we're in episode 12 and here he is again and a lot of times this may be the first time we see some of the boats and I know that's the same case with Donnie Snyder right there in Team Blueprint, that 44 concept. 
you know, he did the rundown on Thursday, and we haven't seen him for a couple of days. So uh, we're finally picking up a lot of these boats. Of course, we're going to take out the Project 1080 uh, for the run today. Uh, there's that big Nortec 56-foot center console with twin Cummins turbo diesels. He's going to come out and join us for the parade as well. Today I'm joined by my wife Jackie and uh, Alex Egan going to ride on board today. He's helping us out with the poker run again. And our new FPC girl Alyssa there on the left in the white tank top. And uh, off camera but holding the camera of course our producer Ryan McCoy on the deck of the Project 1080. And we are going to have a couple of big yachts joining us for the parade. This is uh, Jim Lee and Team Christina. 72 foot Hatteras which he brings on a lot of the poker runs and it's kind of party central there on the end of the A and B dock I think everybody uh, got a chance to stop by and have a drink with them uh, during the course of the poker run weekend and this crew really knows how to have fun and we asked everybody to put their flags out if they could and of course we're fully equipped here on the project 1080 with flag poles including Star Spangled Banner and our safety flags and I see a Texas uh, state flag here on Lane Christensen's boat. And I think that was great. We invited everybody to bring their home port flags out and uh, really state flags. Or if you're from a different country, to go ahead and fly the flag of your uh, home nation. And we didn't see a lot of that, but that was our first time. So we're going to make sure everybody knows that for 2020 that that is something we'd like to see. Jim Schultz and team a Factory Billet at 42-foot Cigarette Huntress. And here's Bill Robbins uh, from Texas in, in his 39-foot cigarette team center of attention, and he's got his Lone Star flag flying high as well. Here's Jim Lee and his 39-foot cigarette, uh, Quad Mercury 350 Verados. And if he had his state flag flying high, it would be Kansas. And here's Scott and Natalie Polio from New Jersey in their 35-foot cigarette team troublemaker. And he's followed by another 35 cigarette. This is Curtis Mulch, also from New Jersey. Uh, this is a 35 Top Gun model, however, their first time on the Key West Poker Run. Team Gunslinger. And yet another cigarette. This is Bobby and Lynn Kieber. And you got to love that Conk Republic flag because that is their home port. They're from the Florida Keys. And another Jersey team, Max Zeldich and his 36-foot Gladiator, Team Super Bad. And we're going to see a couple of concepts now, starting with Noel and Gretchen Speranza in their 44. And here's Donnie Snyder from Connecticut in his brand new 44. He's got quad Mercury 450Rs. Concept Boats from Miami returned as a Key West Poker Run feature sponsor. And these 4400 models represent the flagship of the Concept Boats lineup. And a great job with the flags for Noel and Gretchen. And leading the deep impacts is Mark and Eileen Fisher in their 399 model with quad 400s. Notice they have a race patrol flag. They're going to be a pace boat for the races. Another one of the deep impacts uh, right in sync is James and Sonia Redding from Mexico in La Mexicana, showing their national pride with the Mexican flag. And representing their home country, Germany, is Frank and Claudia Schielen in their Nortec 3600 Supercat. And there's Red Reynolds in that 80-foot Nortec team, Lady Lisa. And flying the Colorado State flag is Chad McDonald in his 35-foot Donzi. And flying those Midnight Express banners, of course, is Team Midnight Express Eric Laser in this flagship of the Midnight Fleet, hole number one of the 60 P. DeMar model. And here's Chad and Shelby Mattingly in their 46 outer limits. Looks like Shelby nailed the colors on that bikini to match the boat. And our international man of mystery, George Takula, in his Predator 447. He registers the boat under Switzerland, but he is flying his own national flag, and that is Finland. And back on board with Project 1080, as uh, Alyssa is proudly uh, flying that United States flag, and Jackie has got the Florida Powerboat Club safety support flag up in the air. Now up on the starboard side, here's Jason and Krisha Tolliver in their Sunsation 40 CCX. They're from Proctorville, Ohio, and proudly flying their Buckeye State flag. Starting with uh, this shot here of the Galleon Resort, you can see that the spectators were out. If they weren't on their balconies, they were out on the seawall, but they were out in the thousands, especially here at the Ocean Key House and their Ocean Key Pier. That was a VIP situation. You pay to uh, go have a private table. Uh, here's what it looks like from the boat as we looked over to the port side. And it was really amazing to see just thousands of people lined along this shoreline uh, waiting for the next boat race. So this was a nice little filler to put in between the races, and it's the first time we've done it. And we saw a lot of people we knew because, of course, most of our club members are staying at these hotels 
whether it be the Hyatt or the Pier House or the Ocean Key House. And then there's Mallory Square here, which is an open venue. It's uh, free to the public. And there's always lots of people down here at Mallory. Of course, this is the same place where all of the activities and the merchants and all of the entertainers come out every night for uh, Key West Sunset. And the last of the big hotels along Front Street, uh, formerly the Westin, is now Margaritaville Resort. You can see it is very well attended here. They've got a nice VIP situation also on the pier. They can pay per person and they do a nice lunch. Then, of course, our friends at Race World Offshore, they had a VIP program as well with uh, tents and seating and all kinds of catering and beverages. And here's uh, Donnie Snyder and his Concept 4400 uh, making his way back to the main harbor. We just did maybe a 10 or 15 minute parade. It wasn't that long. And we only had another 10 minute window to get all the boats back to port. Uh, there's Chad McDonald from Colorado. And there's Roger and Pam Anderson came all the way from Texas. Uh, their Nortec 390 Sport. And yours truly with the FPC crew on board. Uh, so again, it was just a quick event and we had just a few minutes to get back to the historic seaport. Uh, and that's only if we didn't want to stay out and watch the race. Like some teams, like the Next Era team in this uh, big 102 Mayora, Mark Palanchian and his crew, they decided they wanted to be a spectator boat out onto the course. So they had about 10 minutes to get in position before the next heat started. And I must say that is one of the most beautiful yachts that we've had on the Key West Poker Run, a 102 foot Mayora a five cabin boat with V16 MTUs. So you really have two options now. You can go out and watch from your boat or your yacht as, uh, as in this case, or you can get back to the harbor and watch from one of the waterfront hotels along uh, Front Street. But for us, the highest priority was to work closely with the Race World Offshore organizers and put on a safe, entertaining parade, but most importantly, get it done in time for them to keep their race program going. And for the first time in I don't know how many years, we're actually going to feature some of this uh, race coverage uh, from the Friday afternoon races here with Race World Offshore because the previous organizers didn't allow us to put any of these races on our YouTube or our Sunshine Network TV shows. And in the spirit of partnership, which we clearly have between Florida Powerboat Club and Race World Offshore, uh, they've allowed us to come out and do our poker run parade here on this Friday morning. And we can reciprocate by... Getting a little bit of love here and showing this uh, super stock class, uh, doing a few laps uh, of the race course. We're not going to give actual race coverage. We only really know some of the teams, a couple of the teams. Of course, uh, our good friend Jimmy Harrison is racing with Gary Ballou in their 32-foot cat. I think it's a Doug Wright. And our good friends and sponsors, Performance Boat Center, Rusty Williams driving, and Myrick Coil on the throttles. But you got to stop and think about the agenda that these teams have had to maintain for the last week or so because, you know, both of them are in the marine business and they were at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show the previous weekend. Uh, then they made it down to Key West for the beginning of the racing uh, program, which starts on Monday, essentially. They raced on Wednesday. Somehow, whether it be by an airplane or by boat or by car, got back to Miami on Wednesday night so they could do the Thursday poker run and be ready to race here on Friday. Well, congratulations to both teams. Uh, Myrick and Rusty in Performance Boat Center took second place uh, in the World Championship and third place in the World Championship went to Team FJ Propeller with Jimmy Harrison and Gary Ballou. Congratulations, guys. And while Performance Boat Center is out racing, somebody's got to sell some fiberglass. So back at the Poker Run Village, we caught up with Brett Minier. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Key West. We're here live at the Conk Republic at the uh, Poker Run Village. I'm Brett Minier from Performance Boat Center. We've got a 32 Sensation behind me, and we've got a 34 right in front of me. We've got our T-shirt trailers open for business. Here shortly, we're going to take a look at our new 32 Sensation with a brand new interior from PPI Industries. Uh, new flip-down rear seat, CNC stitching. It's over the top cool. 32 Sensation 2019, brought to you by Performance Boat Center. Got a couple MTIs and some new right performances on the dock here at the uh, at the uh, sponsor dock. Come down and see us and uh, check out the boats. And just to add a little flair to this Performance Boat Center segment, I do want to mention that the Wright Performance uh, 360 Cat now has a big brother, the WP420, uh, this one owned by Wynn Farnsworth, uh, a club member who came on the Key West Poker Run with this 420, brand new Mercury Racing 450Rs. And remember everybody that the Wright Performance line is exclusive to Performance Boat Center and is custom built in every way right down to the details of the paintwork and of course the interior.
Altogether, there were four right performance cats on the Key West Poker Run. This one belongs to Mark and Nancy Tuck. It's the new right performance 360, which was docked at the Key West Poker Run sponsor dock at the Conk Republic. Notice it is also equipped with Mercury Racing 450Rs. Performance Boat Center is also a dealer for MTI boats. Here's a quick shot of that MTI 57 center console powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. It belongs to club member Scott Rosenbach and it joined us for the Miami Boat Show Poker Run 2020. And everyone knows that Performance Boat Center is a representative for a cigarette racing team. In fact, they host the Cigarette Rendezvous every year there at Lake of the Ozarks. They have a full inventory of cigarette center consoles and performance fee bottoms. And our next sponsor that we had a chance to visit with was Mike Layton from Adrenaline Power Boats. Hey guys, Mike Layton here with Adrenaline Power Boats. Got the 45 speed behind us. Happy to join Stu and his, his group here with the Florida Power Boat Club in Key West. It's a great, great event. We always like to come when we can. We'd love for you guys to check out uh, the new builds that we have coming out as well as the, the current lineup. Thanks to Mike and his crew for joining us in Key West. Uh, but then we later got this great shot uh, at the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. This is the Adrenaline 47 ZRX, the yellow and silver boat. I had a chance to ride on that boat with Jackie on the Poker Run. What an incredible machine. It won the most outrageous boat award. You can visit their website at AdrenalinePowerBoats.com where they also have some very cool souvenir merchandise. And returning to the Key West Poker Run 2019, uh, for their 10th year in a row as Cigarette Racing Team, we caught up with the company president, Eric Christensen, at the Poker Run Village. So, my name is Eric Christensen. I'm president of Cigarette Racing. I'm here in uh, Key West. Now we're standing here in front of our brand new Huntress Elite. So we also have our, our brand new 59 Tirana here down at the end of the dock. And uh, also wanted to mention that, that we had a great time with uh, roughly 30 uh, cigarettes at our, at our exclusive lunch, lunch stop during the uh, Rundown on Thursday. It was a great time. There's 150 people there. Everybody having a great time enjoying their cigarettes. And there is no dispute that that new 59 Tirana is the new flagship of the cigarette fleet. It was a big head turner in Key West and pretty much everywhere it goes, arriving with a set of six Mercury Racing 450Rs and all decked out in black. And a very special congratulations to Cigarette Racing Team. Uh, for the third time in the last 10 years, they have won the Manufacturer's Cup Award. That was for total representation of the cigarette brand. 38 boats altogether on the Key West roster, winning them the Manufacturer's Cup. I was very pleased to present Eric Christensen with that award right at the cigarette factory in Opalaka. There's always a little bit of something for everyone at the Poker Run Village, and these exotic cars are a perfect match for all of the high-performance offshore powerboats on display. Here's Danny DeSantis with his McLaren of Boston display. Hi, I'm Dan DeSantis from McLaren Boston, McLaren Charlotte. We're here with the Florida Powerboat Club. We're at Poker Run Village having a great day. We're down here with our McLaren cars to kind of show the people uh, what we have to offer them. We've got the 720s, 675s, 600s. Five sevens have the whole complete lineup of the McLaren line. And a great lineup it is indeed. Uh, Dan did a great job with his staff, second year in a row here at the Poker Run Village, and they brought these cars a long way to be on display. And it's no accident that Danny DeSantis is here with his uh, McLaren of Boston display. He's also a performance boater and a former powerboat racer with DeSantis Chevrolet Racing. Uh, he was racing right here with the Superboats for many years. Danny attends Florida Powerboat Club Poker Runs with a Skater 388 powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. With all these fantastic displays from our Key West sponsors, including Nortec High Performance, and of course with the hospitality of the Conk Republic Seafood Company, it is just one continuous party here at the Key West Poker Run Village. And then right next door at a &B Marina, HCB Center Console Yachts, one of our event sponsors, had their latest on display. A blue 42 center console, this 53 Suenos, and the new mothership, this 65 Estrella, powered by five Yamaha outboards. And it was a beautiful day for a lot of our dealers and manufacturing sponsors to get out and do a lot of demo rides. Looks like Bent Marine had done some earlier. And this uh, Nortec factory team was doing a little photo shoot on front of this 390 Sport. And it's a little later in the afternoon, and this is when the sponsor duck really starts to come to life. It's around happy hour, and it looks like one of our manufacturing sponsors, 
Midnight Express is going to use their platform, their brand new 60-foot PDMR model, uh, to indicate just how good a Midnight Express is if you have a lot of friends and want to have a good time. And if I may say my disclaimer now, this is not exactly what we would consider to be family fun. Uh, this is definitely grown-up fun in Key West. And once upon a time, they used to say, what happens in Key West stays in Key West. Well, that was before YouTube came along. So I hope you guys enjoy this little segment, which at the very least illustrates some of the features of this big Midnight Express 60 P. DeMar. And just a couple of hundred feet away from that party, I was having fun with my buddy Hobie with the Hobie in the Afternoon Experiment here on Whale 99.5 and Sun 103.1. Uh, he always does a live remote with us here at the Poker Run Village. We get a chance to broadcast throughout the Florida Keys and invite all of the local Key West public to come down and join us. And just after we finished our live radio remote, I got my buddy Hobie to hang around uh, to help me out with the Sponsor Appreciation Awards along with the girls of FPC. And kicking off with the awards is Brendan West from Marine Concepts, the world's best boat cover. Brendan West managed their display on site here and represented their owner, Randy Kent, who has been a longtime Florida Powerboat Club member. These custom covers are the finest quality. They fit your boat like a glove and are perfectly suited for owners who like to trailer their boat over long distances. And it was great having Glassstream Powerboats join us for the Key West Poker Run for their very first time. They've been a big supporter of the club for many years, but primarily up in the Florida Panhandle on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. A.L. Kirkland joined us on the stage. He was excited to be there because he'd been talking about joining us for Key West for quite some time. Along with Cruz Rutherford and the rest of the Glass Dream team, they had a fantastic time and they said they couldn't wait to come back next year. The most popular Glass Dream models are the 36 center console, this one powered by triple Mercury 400s. Here's a few shots of that actual model that they brought on the poker run. No girls, not the model, not, not the dude up front. The model of the boat model, I mean, the 36, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, just having some fun here as they picked up their first poker card at Hullover Marine Center. And here's Bill Day, one of the Glassstream dealers from Kentucky who joined us for the run in his Glassstream 328 powered by twin Mercury 400Rs. This boat lists out at about 245000 I think Glassstream is a great value for the money if you want to get started on the poker run lifestyle. We also thank David TV from Superior Communications, who's been a sponsor for well over 15 years. David's company supplied us with our Garmin chart plotter and Icon prize packages, and they've also supported any of the project boats that we've built over the years, including the Nortec 39, the Ocean Hawk 33 center console, and more recently, the 38 cigarette Project 1080. And participating again for as long as I can remember was Outer Limits Power Boats from Rhode Island. Dan Clates was on hand, as well as his right-hand man, Jason, to accept our award. Outer Limits owners showed strong attendance at this year's event with a total of 17 registered Outer Limits boats on the event. The factory had recently completed three brand new SL50 models. Two of them were in the water at our sponsor dock, one more in the village. So uh, my name is uh, Dan Kleitz and I'm the uh, sales manager here at Outer Limits Offshore Power Boats and we're down here at the 2019 Florida Power Boat Club Key West Poker Run. We have a beautiful SL50X on display behind us that we ran down on the Wednesday run. And then we actually also have two SL50s uh, that we also completed this year. One, we just did a brand new delivery to the customer that are out in front of the Conk Republic. Uh, it was a great rundown on both days. We got a lot of customers in town. It's been a great event so far. Looking for another great year here down here in Key West. A great presentation by Dan, and I do want to remind everybody that it was two years ago that we lost our good friend Joe Scroll in a tragic accident in Marathon. And a very special thank you to Mark and Eileen Fisher, who have been a big part of this event for about 18 years in a row. On the marine side, it's deep impact boats and blackwater boats. And on the automotive side, their car dealer, Off Lease Only, is our grand prize sponsor once again with a $25,000 voucher for the purchase of any pre-owned Off Lease Only vehicle. Off 
The newest Deep Impact model, the 369, was on display in the Poker Run Village. It's powered by triple Mercury 350s, and it features that new stylish T-top with the curved glass that has become wildly popular on this 399 model. Altogether, there are 10 Deep Impacts registered for the Key West Poker Run. And congratulations to Deep Impact for the best lighting show. This new factory 399 powered by Mercury Racing 450s features a embedded LED lighting in the rub rail, color blue to match the graphics on the boat. And a very special thank you to Deep Impact and Blackwater Boats for returning as a Florida Powerboat Club Series sponsor for the 2020 event season. It was great to see the Wilson family back again to support the Poker Run Village. Craig Wilson on the right, Wilson Custom Composites, and of course, Wilson Custom Marine as most of us know them. They've always got some new technology tucked up their sleeve. We got a chance to talk to Craig Wilson at the Poker Run Village just a little earlier. Hi, I'm Craig Wilson from Wilson Custom Composites and Wilson Custom Marine. We are here at the 2019 Key West Poker Run in the Poker Run Village. Um, we have brought a lot of new products this year from our composite side. Um, currently we're building boats for Iconic Marine, we're doing T-tops for Nortec, and we're doing our own custom boats, fish boats, uh, and go-fast boats. Uh, we've got lots of different uh, carbon fibers, different patterns, different graphics. Basically, if you can dream it, we can build it, and if you can't dream it, we'll dream it for you. We've also got our Wilson Custom Marine drives, our blueprinting, our propeller tuning, boat setup, uh, which we've had for over 20 years now and we've done pretty much everybody that's going fast and everybody that's winning in the racing circuit, uh, we take care of them. Yeah, if you need any special graphics, any lightweight designs, any lightweight seats, very strong canopies, anything you can think of, we can build it for you if it's uh, with composites. And I also want to congratulate Craig and his dad Mark for bringing their booth quality up a notch with these professional trade show fixtures and new signage. I think it looks fantastic. And a very special thank you to Scott Price from Harden Marine, who has been here for more than a dozen years supporting this event with a great display in the Poker Run Village. And of course, we know him as the owner of Harden Marine, based in Palm Coast, Florida. And this amazing 53-foot tractor trailer display never lets us down with all of this colorful bling, high-performance hardware, everything imaginable for your high-performance boat, especially for you guys who like to do the repowers and to do the DIYs with your own installer and your own shop from performance engine hardware to all of the gauges and instruments you need and the very best of offshore rigging gear that can withstand the punishment of performance boating and of course saltwater exposure. Thanks to Scott Price and his team for returning with a great display from Harden Marine. And it was time to thank our presenting sponsors Mercury Racing and none other than Steve Miller was the right guy for that job. Mercury Racing returned with their entire team of professionals to present the latest Mercury Racing products and answer all the questions from our visitors. And I would like to echo Steve's words from our last episode that you won't find a larger collection of Mercury Racing products anywhere on any poker run with 269 teams and an array of QC4 platform engines like the 1350 and the 1550 dual cowl engine which always steals the show but I would have to say that it was the huge presence of these new Mercury Racing 450Rs that really stole the show here on the Key West 2019 event. Remember that they just released this motor back in June of 19. In a matter of about five months, they appeared everywhere, and we saw virtually every configuration from twins all the way to six Mercury Racing 450Rs on this flagship Cigarette 59 Tirana. I believe it was in our last show that I shared these statistics Altogether, over 10 manufacturers were equipped with Mercury Racing 450Rs that represented 28 individual teams for a total count of 91 Mercury Racing 450Rs that we were able to account for on the Key West registration roster. And we believe there may have been more, so there easily could have been over 100. So a very special thank you to Mercury Racing for a great year and an amazing display here at the Key West 2019 event. Brian Mullinax and Nick Buckman were joined by their beautiful wives for this picture, and I'd like to thank them for helping us with our safety management support using their Seakeeper Boston Whaler 33. It's equipped with a Seakeeper 2, and I can assure you it is a very, very smooth riding boat. And I'm very happy to see that more Poker Run boats and performance manufacturers are starting to bring Seakeeper product into their original equipment at the factory. 
Well, guys, we have reached uh, well past the 30-minute mark in this episode number 12 with feature coverage of the Key West Poker Run. So we're going to wrap it up here and come back to you with one more episode in just a few days, which will showcase all of our Saturday activities, including a little bit of time we got out with the helicopter and caught some of our teams running around the Key West waters. Of course, we got together at the Key West Poker Run Village later to play out those poker hands, and this time we raised money for Bahamas Relief. So that's one more episode to go, guys, with feature coverage of our Key West Poker Run 2019 edition. That's 27 years with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. Thank you so much for watching us here on YouTube. We hope that we helped all of you guys get through those tough times on the coronavirus lockdown. And many of you have come on board to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for that. Remember to also click that notification bell so you get updates every time a new episode is released. As many of you are aware, we did lose a few events on our 2020 calendar of poker runs, but we're back at it in July with the Bahamas Poker Run to Bimini, Nassau, and the Exumas. It's all on our club website at flpowerboat.com, as well as information about joining the club. Now, if you'd like to follow us on social media, we're on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can follow us on Twitter or these Instagram pages. This is Stu Jones, president of the Florida Powerboat Club in our Pompano Beach studios, along with our producer, Ryan McCoy. We're going to sign off today, guys. Stay with us, and we hope to see you on the next one. In the meantime, if you get a chance to get out boating, remember to wear those life jackets and be respectful to your fellow boater. Bye for now, guys. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event.